And we're very grateful for that. And also, I just want to express my gratitude to Jennifer for having been a part of our school uh, advisory board and making the connection between us and you uh, a very real connection. Thank you, Jennifer. And thank you all very much. Traditionally, among our largest grantors every year, the amounts will, will be on the website if you'd like to look. Are our schools and library? I don't know if anybody from the library made it here tonight. Oh, there's Megan McGillicuddy. Um, please come on up, Madison. Come on up, Madigan. I'm sorry, Madigan McGillicuddy. The library is, uh, we have one, I'm quite convinced, one of the very best library branches in the entire city. It's reflected in the You Should Stats. It's reflected in the pop of the constant, the places constantly packed. And we have one of the very best staffs. It's a complete, completely full of professional librarians. The fact that they host approximately 20 Virginia Highland meetings a year, very graciously, some of them after closing hours, is also deeply, deeply appreciated. But with or without that, we would love the library and we really appreciate you. Pleased to give 
present this grant to you and the PTA to thank you for everything you do for all of the students at Emma, and I'll let you talk to you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I just want to say thank you to the host neighborhood of Inman Middle School um, for always being so supportive of the school. This money uh, goes to the PTA to support our programs. 70%, a full 70% of our uh, expenditures each year go directly towards classroom support, instruction, and scholarships. Uh, for example, about a third of our seventh graders are down in Jekyll Island um, right now. Uh, and about uh, two-thirds of them are going next week, and they go every year. It's a science field trip for them, and the seventh grade teachers take every single seventh grade student, whether they can afford it or not. And the PTA helps fund scholarships for that, so this goes towards items like that. And so we're very appreciative, um, and thank you for all of the support. from the Grady PTA here, but we also gave an award to the Grady PTA for teacher support. We gave an award to the Atlanta Bicycle Campaign in recognition and support of their Streets Atlanta program, which is coming up again next month right here, third or fourth edition. It's so frequent now, we have trouble remembering, and that's really good news. We have a small grant to Hillside, which hosts NPUF meetings and has done so selflessly for many years. Um, and so we, we're very grateful to them. If there's a group that's not represented that you advocate for, we do it every fall. And I will tell you that a well-written, thoughtfully composed uh, application does not hurt your chances in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I don't know if our busy election committee back there has finished doing its tabulating of who failed to get a, a vote on somebody's ballot, and, but it doesn't, with only 11 candidates, they're all going to be board members, one will be an alternate, and uh, I can assure you that on the Virginia Holland board, it, the alternate is, uh, you won't know it, first the alternate votes, uh, if anyone is absent, and secondly, uh, uh, we birth them equally with uh, the same responsibility and, and joy that every other board member uh, gets. Uh, we will make those results available after the meeting or on the website if they're not ready now. I will ask if there's any new business to come before this meeting. Hearing none, I will thank you all very much for coming and I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Without objection, we are adjourned. Thank you so very much for coming. <laughs>